so ahead of the iPhone 13 mini and the iPhone 13 Pro Max that I'll be picking up today, uh, I thought it would be a great idea to do a quick little follow-up video on the Samsung Z Flip and why I think it actually may give those phones a run for the money. Yes. But before we begin, if you guys are new to my channel, please consider subscribing to stay up to date when I drop new videos every week. Now, yesterday I actually took out the Samsung Z Fold with me uh, to Ikea uh, to pick up some furniture and to just get out there and to get my creative uh, juices flowing. And I was quietly reminded why I love this phone. Now, uh, starting off, the phone itself is incredibly small. Look how small this thing is. The phone itself is super small, compact, and uh, from the time I walked into IKEA, I was just blown away by the thought of not having to carry around a mazillion things with you. So quickly, we decided to take a tour around IKEA where I started to take some pictures and um, this was probably the, one of the first few times I actually took a picture uh, with the camera. And in addition to that, we also tested out the front facing camera. All right, so this is how the front facing camera looks. Uh, it's not bad on the Z Flip testing. One, two, three. We're actually going to be taking a quick look as to how things around here look at IKEA. But I just want to really check out the sound in the Z1 of Z Flip. So, uh, yeah. And I was just blown away by it. So, the phone itself is made really well, obviously. The phone is a little slippery. So, this is one of the reasons why I always recommend to get a phone case on your Samsung devices. In terms of just sheer functionality, this phone, you can't get any better than this phone. For a lot of you guys who know, this phone itself is a foldable phone, and it is one of the primary selling uh, features of the phone. Now, the phone does offer flex mode, which is um, which is the ability to fold it and be able to use uh, the, the back camera in, you know, in scenarios like vlogging or scenarios like taking selfies. So that's primarily the exercise that I wanted to, to do uh, in this video. Going around IKEA, I tried taking pictures in different lighting scenarios. I tried taking pictures of different, uh, different objects, uh, tried doing videos uh, in different uh, conditions. Now, this phone was a joy. Um, I also tried gaming with it. After I came from Ikea, I also tried gaming with it, which um, I don't normally do, but I had the urge to play Candy Crush and started playing again, and I was quietly reminded why I stopped playing Candy Crush because I need my life back. Um, but this is definitely for someone who wants to carry less, for someone who wants the bare minimum. Um, now, this is great for small purses. This is great for um, you know front pocket jean wearers. This is just great for someone who wants to carry uh, less and less. Now, um, in addition to the case that I mentioned to you guys, I could see myself rocking this thing with simply like a driver's license or an ID card, and that's it. A lot, as you guys know, a lot of the uh, a lot of payments are going electronic. Uh, you, you obviously have Google Pay here. You obviously have Samsung Pay on this phone, and definitely, definitely, definitely a shocking experience in my opinion. Now, when compared to the Z Fold, um, which I'll be doing another video on, I could see how both of these have their different customers and have their different advantages uh, but we could talk about that later in that video so this phone like I said guys this phone just using this phone over the past few weeks has been incredible battery life is battery life is good battery life is good it's not in you know compared you know the Z Fold has definitely has a better uh, battery life than this phone but just using this phone um, in general um, you should be able to get a, a day with it especially with um, the power management that's kind of built in this phone so um, is this definitely a recommended phone a recommended buy in on my list, I have absolutely, absolutely nothing, nothing but good things to say about this phone. So that is a, an official yes. Uh, again, uh, as I would say to you guys, you just definitely want to get a case on it and you definitely want to make sure that uh, that um, you are using this phone to the full capabilities. Again, great phone for vlogging, great phone for taking pictures, uh, great phone for someone who's looking for something small. Um, and this is exactly why I think this is a direct competitor to the iPhone mini. Um, I can't wait to get my mini in my hands and I can't wait to really compare them and put them together. But so far, uh, this Samsung Z Flip uh, has a comfortable lead. Not, not because of the aesthetics, not because of like iOS and all that, is just for the functionality and the feature that the phone offers. But that is the video, guys. Um, let's see, we got that down in five minutes. I uh, just want to thank you guys if you are new to my channel and if you are uh, considering subscribing, I would highly um, appreciate it. Um, and uh, as always, until my next video, peace.